All Business Tuesday. Our Corinne Benanti has been going out into the community each week to feature a business that is building a presence right here in East Texas. And today she takes us to Overton. We're driving down State Highway 64. There's a site that may make you do a double take. Good morning, Corinne. Good morning, Perry. This is Bowles Creek Store. It's a country store that has food, gifts, zebras, that's right, I said zebras. The striped mammals make the store intriguing, but it's what's inside the building that keeps customers coming back for more. The Little Red Barn is located along Bulls Creek and it opened in October of last year. It has a rich inventory. The shop carries a variety of items from clothing to children's toys. They even sell food products like locally made honey. After shopping around, you can step into their homey restaurant area and grab a bite to eat. We would like Bulls Creek store be, to be a Saturday morning destination for East Texas. A main attraction for the Russ County shop is there two zebras out front. While rare in East Texas, the animals are native to Africa, which is where the store owners are from, making these two the perfect new additions to East Texas. Now, while it may be tempting to stop and pet the wildlife on the side of the road, it is important to remember that zebras are still just that wild. So the Bull Bulls Creek store zebras are here just to stop and observe and enjoy from afar. We will have a link to the Bulls Creek store website at fox51.com. Reporting live in Overton, Corinne and Andy, Fox 51 News. All right, Corinne, that place looks like so much fun. I wonder, where do you stand on the zebra debate? Black with white stripes, white with black stripes? You, you know, Perry, I used to think that they were white with black stripes just because it seems like they have so much more white on their bodies. But actually, Irene told me yesterday, she settled the debate for me, that they are black with white stripes. If you look at their feet, they have more black on them. If you look at their nose, that's really where their skin is. And in Africa, they owned loads of zebras. So she's the expert. I'm going with her. It's settled. They're black with white stripes. Huh. I would have thought the same thing too. All right, Corinne, thank you for this really important information.